Rescue 2 is en route to a uh, special call to an incident. They got an auto accident with someone trapped underneath a car. They're running on the tracks on the street levels. Which side of the street is this thing on? What's our best access? The victim is a 14-year-old okay. girl, hit and dragged by an 80-ton train. She is pinned by her left ankle. Yeah, the wheels, uh, you can't just lift the body. Everything has to come up because it's on top of her foot. Do you have them pinned so everything will come up at once? Uh, I'm not sure if the pins are in. We'll have to check before we go. Check Joni. Joni should know. Every minute is critical. The teenager could slip from shock into a coma. Due to internal injuries, no painkillers can be administered, only intravenous fluids. So we got more storage, right? Four by fours, I just got two by fours, you'd be good. Two by fours? Got it. Four two by fours. Four two by fours. That's enough lift. I got four by fours under plywood. Large bag, medium bag. Uh, we're going to put air in these bags, and they are they are they can be rated up to 10, 15 tons. Leave everything the way it is. Don't go up. Yeah. When this thing uh, goes up, they're just going to pull her out because her leg's been amputated by the rail and the and the train, and we need to lift that rail from her leg. 25 minutes into the rescue, firefighters work quickly, risking their own safety to save the teenager. It's probably faster than the other two in back. I want to see all the cribbing here. Can you guys just put it all in a pile so I can see it? Okay, you guys ready? With airbags in place and air hoses connected, final checks are made. Tell them to prepare to lift. Up on green. The one guy's got to be putting that jack down. Okay, so this is Wait, it's off. Okay. Okay, stop. We're going to go up on red. There we go. Okay, that's right. Okay, Okay, we got it. We're going to hold. So tell them, Brian, tell them to hold. Hold. How's that? At 12.30, one hour after the initial call, firefighters pull the 14-year-old girl to safety. I got her. Okay, the bag's got her lift up, we got her lift up, we got her out, the bag's got her to take her now, transfer to the San Francisco General Trauma Center. Having suffered massive bodily injury and in critical condition, it's a miracle that this girl survived this tragic ordeal. Obviously, she had immense trauma. It has to be terrifying. It has to be absolutely terrifying. She was only 14, and when I crawled under the train, you could see, you know, it was her leg, and then a wheel, and then her foot on the other side. And in fact, she had a femur broken, a crushed pelvis. Uh, she had her other ankle broken. She had a broken clavicle. She'd lost all her teeth. She'd been dragged uh, 20 yards. Um, it was kind of a miracle, actually, that she was as stable as she was. If she had crashed, started to crash, like she really should have, given that she had a femur bleed and she obviously had head trauma, she lost all her teeth, they would have probably had to amputate the leg right there. Pretty bad way to spend your 14th year.